Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our 2019 Seat Leon Cupra Lux. This is the 290 TSI engine with the DSG gearbox. This car has the seven speed gearbox, so it's the later gearbox with paddle shift. The car is finished in Desire Red Metallic, which is a beautiful color. We'll come in and show you the paintwork in just a second. Now the car has got to just 7,000, I think it's 7,600 miles, something like that. We'll check it out in the car in a minute. Um, with one service being completed already. And uh, we'll check to make sure that before the car goes out, any servicing is, uh, that's required is all done as well. This car's only just come in. It's one owner from new, so no former keepers at all. Right, so let's bring you in closer to the car. The whole car has been machine polished all over every panel, rotary polished and orbiting as well, which takes out any holograms that you get in the paintwork. There are very minimal chips on this bonnet, having covered not a lot of miles. I'll just bring you in close. There's a tiny little chip just in the middle of the picture there that's been touched in. And then there's a little group of three that we've just touched in and we're gonna polish over those. But if I just come out, you can see how small they are as I come out. And that is about it. There's nothing else on that bonnet. You can see that beautiful shine. And I'll just bring you up onto this windscreen. There's no peppering to the windscreen either. It's really nice and crystal clear how you'd expect it to be with so few miles on this car. If we come down to the front and look at the front bumper as well, the car is in beautiful condition. We've got front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, these lovely LED lights. And those daylight running lights are also the indicators. So they change to orange when the indicators come on. Got fog lights there. Got the radar down in the middle for the adaptive cruise control. This lovely copper coloured seat badge that the Coopers have. Also got that on the rear. Just bring you around and show you this side of the car. And just see. I think we've got headlight wash there, but we'll check that out because sometimes they just have the covers and they've not actually got the headlight wash. So we can check that out later. If we look down the side of the car, you can just see how sharp it is. In fact, I was just admiring these wing mirrors of all things. Look at the shape of those. Very dynamic. If we come down, we've got these lovely 19 inch alloy wheels. Now I believe these, I'm not too sure if these come standard on the Lux or they're an extra or an option. We've got the lovely Cupra brake calipers there as well. And we've got the center logos to match the badges. I'll just show you an angle there. You can sort of get a better idea of how those wheels look. Really nice. And I'll just show you this rear one here. Again, all of the alloys, all in lovely condition. Bring the camera back out, show you the side profile, profile, sorry, of the car. And if we come in, all of the black gloss has also been machine polished. We come up onto the roof here. There are no scratches, no bird dropping stains that have eaten into the paint, no tree sap marks. We've got privacy glass at the back of the car. Got these little black gloss finishes down the side of the tailgate windscreen there. Sorry, rear screen, not windscreen. LED lights at the back. Again, the black Cupra badge with the copper colored seat badge in the center. Come out, we've also got this diffuser down at the bottom of the twin pipes. Really nice looking car from the rear as well. I like those lights as well. Got the rear parking sensors and just looking down the side of the car again. All the tailpipes are nice. Tires have all got lots of tread. There's the rear wheel there. And then we'll show you the front wheel. Again, all in lovely condition. And the mirrors, and just to show you up onto the roof on this side. 
all lovely up there. So we're gonna just come around and show you the keyless entry. So we've got the key in our pocket. Now with the little button on the side here of the handle, or on the front of the handle, you can lock the car, the mirrors fold in, put your hand down and open the door. Let's just turn those, or leave those lights there for a second. I'm just gonna lean in and start the engine. Dan's gonna open the boot for me, oh sorry, the bonnet. As the catch is on the other side of all places. While he does that, I'm just gonna show you around this filler cap. No scratches, no scratches down the door edges. Thanks, Dan. And then this is the engine bay. All lovely and tidy. Just come up. And like I say, this is the 290 brake horsepower. I think with a category one, uh, sorry, stage one remap with Celtic, these go up to about 355 brake horsepower. Now, the nice thing about the Cupra is that this has the dynamic chassis control as standard, unlike the Golf. The Golf has the four wheel drive, but then once you're moving, you've got less weight. Um, and the other thing that the car has is um, mechanical diff as well. So it's got a mechanical diff as well. So we've put that down now. We're just gonna take you into the car, open up the door, show you the door card on the passenger front. All nice and clean all the way down. And these nice Cupra door plates that light up. Show you all around the aperture of the door opening. Got this lovely um, leather interior with like a carbon fiber effect on the side with the contrasting stitching there. Goes all the way up onto the headrest as well. The DSG gearbox, the navigation, take you to the rear, show you the rear door card on the near side. Notice that all around here, there's no scratches. The car's like new. Apart from a couple of little tiny chips on that front bonnet, which are negligible, it is really nice. All of the leather in here, we've got the center armrest that comes down as well. All the headlining is in the darker, I think it's called anthracite color. So we use the badge, it's the hand at the rear. Just show you, no scratches along the top there. All the boot carpet is in lovely condition. That's just the light reflecting from above there. Well, let's get it back in focus, there we go. Something reflecting. There you go, yeah. Space saver in the rear. Drop down seats. And then parcel shelf. And no damage up on the rear of the tailgate either. So we'll pop that down. Let's have a look in the back on the driver's side. Again, all around the door shut. Just look how clean this car is. And the door card. Driver's door. And we've got electric folding mirrors as well. So just up here, see so we've got the electric folding mirrors. lighting as well and then electric seat all 
all in nice condition, all the levers lovely, as you'd expect for a car of this mileage. Flat bottom sports steering wheel. If we jump in, Okay, so we have the lights, let's put the lights on auto for a second. So we have the digital cockpit or virtual cockpit as they call it. And with the buttons, here we go. Just here, so you've got view and you've got a left to right button there and a scrolling button here. So by pressing the view, let's just get this back in focus. We can flip to different views And then across the top of the other buttons, you can flip. Uh, that's the Bluetooth audio player. We haven't got the phone connected. Car details. Let's see if we can uh, go to the next one. Range, I'm just seeing which ones we can scroll through. There we go, we can use the wheel to scroll through oil temperature, consumption, driving data, etc. And this is for the adaptive cruise control, I'm just, there we go. We can adjust how close or how far away we want to be from the car in front. Let's come back out of there. One more press, oh, I'll tell you what. If we go back to, oh yeah, we've also got um, lap timer, which is quite nice. And you can, Use the scroll button to start it. Statistics, let's see what that is. Oh, there you go, your slowest and fastest laps. And then you can come out of there. There's, oh, there's so much on here. Let's put this back to there for now. Now, if we come over to the center screen, you can flip uh, well, actually, let's start here. So this is your media. So you've got your Apple CarPlay, your Mirror Link, or Android Auto. Now, to use this, you just need to plug your phone into the USB lead, um, and it will all connect up, and your apps, etc., will display on the screen. The top button up here, this is where you can go into the vehicle, and there's so much you can do in here, different views, sport, consumer, oh, go out of there um, your media source all the different sources of your media can you see that there and if we go back navigation now this is where you can press on uh, which one is oh, this one up here and then you can flip the sat nav over to here and it changes from the cop virtual cockpit there so there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna bore everyone to death if I spend ages trying to go through all this. But um, there's a lot to learn. And then down here, we've got, uh, this is your different drive modes. Let's just get that back in focus. So if we go into here, we've got individual. If we hit the settings button there, this is where we can adjust the uh, dynamic chassis control, steering, engine, front differential lock, um, air conditioning even, it's all there. In fact, there might be one further down as well. In fact, it, you can put this in Sport or Cupra, which is probably, can that move up? Maybe, oh, there we go, reset mode. Do you really want to reset this mode? Reset, so that'll take it back to standard. So you can adjust that to whatever you want, and then if you want it in comfort, put it in comfort, Sport, like so, Cupra. So down here, we've also got your heated seats, parking sensors, front and rear with the display, dual climate, you can adjust the climate either side. And we've got a uh, start button down here, your cruise control, it's just down on this side. We've also got some other buttons up here, which uh, I haven't actually used yet, but they're for the, the screen as well. And then the DSG gearbox. 
We've also got auto brake hold, some cup holders, etc. Put all the books in there and the SD card. So there's a lot going on, a lot to learn, um, which is always fun. I'm gonna jump out now and just take you one more time around the outside. Before I do that, let's just move that steering wheel back into place. Try and uh, get it from a different angle. Ah, oh, there was something else I meant to tell you. And just down here is the wireless Bluetooth charging. So you can charge your phone, you just rest it into that to tray there and it will charge wirelessly your phone. I think I've captured everything, but if I've missed something, just give us a call and um, I'll be happy to answer any questions. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. We've got lots of different finance options, extended warranties, and uh, always here to help. Take care, bye.